Okay, let me stop before I get copyrighted, because I just don't even know how that works on YouTube, and I'm just not trying to get copyrighted for, you know, enjoying music. Sorry. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to talk about karmic relationships. Yeah, I've been in some, and um, I don't know how to necessarily, like, structure this, like, who it'll be catered to, but I feel like if maybe you are stuck, like you feel like in relationships specifically, that you are stuck repeating like the same kind of scenario just with different people, you probably are experiencing a karma, you're going to keep experiencing probably karmic relationships until you break that karma. And the karma is for yourself. It's not for, I mean, sometimes the other person will learn their own karma, but it's not for you to be like, I'm here to teach you karma. It's there for both of you to learn something karmic about each other or karmic about yourselves through each other and then once you break those karmic cycles then you can actually have a romantic relationship that you want to have and oh, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys I had um, I've only had two like serious relationships and everything else was like a guy would want to talk to me and I could tell that he just wanted to have sex with me, so I was just like, yeah, I'm just not feeling that. Let's not, like, I don't want to just have, like, I'm not looking to just have sex with someone and then, like, that's it. I wanted to actually, like, have a relationship that meant something to me, that actually felt like this was supposed to be in my life. This was placed in my life's path. This is part of my destiny. This person is supposed to grow with me kind of thing. And I wasn't feeling that from those people, so I was only in two relationships. And the first relationship I was in taught me a lot about my love of music. Uh, like... He showed me so much that has resonated with me. He showed me Tame Impala. I have Tame Impala tattoos. Like, I'm obsessed with Tame Impala. Like, Tame Impala changed my life. And it was only because I was with my boyfriend at that time that I even found them. He taught me a lot about music. He taught me a lot about being able to kind of assert myself in a way that I wasn't used to doing. Um, I feel like I taught him a lot, too, about emotions. And he taught me more about, like, logical stuff, if that makes sense. And that worked for a while, and that was good. Everything was great. We got along. We were, like, best friends. We dated for, like, almost three years. And then I want to say near the last year of it, um, I met a guy at the job that I was working at at the time, and something, like, something happened. It was, like, a little, like, spark. It was, like, something weird is there. Something, something's going to happen there. Like, I just got an intuition, like, something's coming from this person. And I didn't really, like, in look into it too deeply at first and then at that same time in my relationship I was finding that we had kind of plateaued or it felt like we were really just best friends but I didn't really feel anything romantic anymore I didn't feel connected to him when we had sex I didn't feel like oh yes this is the best love of my life like it felt very routine it felt like I couldn't connect to him emotionally and for me I need to connect emotionally when I'm having sex with somebody so because it was just like you know wham bam thank you ma'am okay you know move on to the next thing I was like yeah this doesn't feel right anymore and, and at a certain point in time I'm guessing it was right for me but I had to be open to realizing that that relationship was done a lot of us get stuck in a relationship thinking like oh well you know it's whatever it's just no it's not just whatever if you feel like something isn't right or doesn't resonate with you anymore it's okay to say that a relationship is done it's okay to say I don't feel that there is any more growing to do with you anymore it's okay to say like I feel like what well, we needed to learn from each other we probably already have and it's time for us to continue to learn on our own until we find the next person we're supposed to learn with or however it may work out but I didn't do that did I do that no instead I kept trying to stay in it I kept trying to like I felt like that martyr thing that I do I was like oh well you know he had lost his mother like two years prior to that and I felt like I really needed to be there for him and I wanted to help him and him 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 I wasn't ever really thinking about what I wanted from it I was putting my needs aside but not really I put my needs aside in that relationship but I found them outside of the relationship and that guy that I was working with at the time we had been cleaning um, together he started talking to me about like certain subjects and things that I was like getting really interested in and asking me really interesting questions and I was like wow like I don't have these conversations with my boyfriend why don't like and it was something that I, re I was realizing right then that I wanted I was like you know I, I want to be able to have a partner where I can talk about this kind of stuff I want to be able to like explore these ideas with my boyfriend I can't do that with the boyfriend with now and instead of like taking those things analyzing them and being like okay so I should probably express this to my boyfriend communicate like I said I had a 
blocked throat chakra. Instead of communicating that with him and being like, hey, you know, I've noticed that I've been having conversations that I feel like you and I just can't really click or have those conversations, or I feel like I can't get to an emotional place with you. I feel like you don't, you just aren't there to open up to me. And I'm, I don't blame people for how they act. I take it as, okay, our paths are diverging. There's no like trying to force that person to come onto my path. If they aren't naturally at that wavelength, then I know that that wavelength's not for me. I respect who they are at that time, but I also need to respect the relationship and not just try and like seek that connection outside. And I did that twice, seeking an emotional connection outside of my relationship that I wasn't receiving. And so with the first guy, like I said, it wasn't very emotionally deep. It wasn't like where I wanted it to be anymore. I felt like it was time to end it, but I was afraid to end it. Then the other guy at my job showed up. We started talking. I liked talking to him. I was texting him a lot. I started noticing that I was messaging him way more than I was messaging most people, and I don't text a lot. And I was like, this feels like I probably shouldn't. Like, I felt like I probably shouldn't be doing it. And then my boyfriend found out. He, I, I don't even know if, like, how specifically it happened because there was a Venus retrograde happening at this time, which I also thought was really interesting. And so most of it was a blur, but I do know I was finally, when he found it, I was like, okay, I can finally, like, tell him how I really feel. Like, but that is such a coward way to do it. And that is something I'm not doing anymore. That's, a, that's like, oh, I'm just going to wait till they find out and then I'll be able to tell them. You should just tell them now. If you're in one right now, and you feel like this isn't working anymore, this is stagnation, this is just a friendship, I can't find anything romantic, I'm not growing with this person anymore, end it now. Communicate now because you're doing a disservice to you and that other person. And I did that twice. I didn't just do that with the first guy. I did that, the guy that I had been talking to, I'm going to say six months, maybe a year later, we started dating and I repeated that cycle again. You heard me right. I did it again. With the, I was just like, oh my god, what? I never, and I even told myself. I like told myself after the first one. I was like, I'm not gonna do that again. But the thing I didn't do, diff the thing I didn't do with the first relationship that I did after this relationship I just ended was I looked at all the things that I had done, which is why I'm telling you now. I looked at all the things I had been doing and putting together the pieces. I was like, oh, so this happened and then I did this. And instead of communicating, I decided to do this. Instead of that, I did this. I learned my lessons. But if I had ended this, like the relationship I just ended earlier this year, if I didn't take the time to realize that pattern, notice that pattern, I would have gone right back into another karmic cycle. I would have gone right back into it all over again. But I'm breaking that cycle. I'm breaking the karmic cycle now in my relationships. There is no more of me being like, I'm afraid to communicate this with my partner, or I'm afraid to say like, I don't feel like this is vibrating for me anymore. There's no like putting my needs aside to feel like my partner's needs are being met, but mine aren't. And that's okay. That's not okay. It should be a hundred percent from your partner, a hundred percent from you, even more than a hundred percent from both of you, if it's really going to work. And that was something that I had to learn the lesson twice. And I don't want you to have to keep learning that lesson. And I think that it took longer for me to learn it because I stayed in the relationship so long, for such a long time, and I didn't let it go. Versus like if maybe you're a person where you don't date, like you date like kind of faster, you might be able to notice the cycles quicker, or you might be quicker to blame. Why are all these guys like this? Why is it blah, blah, blah? I, I knew that there was no one to place that blame on but myself because I wasn't being honest. I wasn't expressing my needs. I did the same thing with the last guy I was with and I found someone at my job. It was like almost the exact same scenario. Someone at my job who was interested in the things I was interested in at that level. We talked a lot. We learned a lot from each other. I really appreciated that connection with them. And then that person found out about it because I couldn't share those things with them because they were in such a dark place. They were in a really dark time and I was trying to help them get out and I couldn't help them get out. It was too much energy drained for me and I could and that was something that made me stay there long too is I usually felt like I can help this person. I can heal this person. And I'm usually pretty good at doing that this person it was like every day I was trying 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 to heal them and it was so much darkness so much work that they needed to do first I could not do that work for them and I thought I could and I put that burden on myself myself no one made me put that burden on me but me I had to release that need I had to release that codependency I just made a video about that I had to release that and by releasing that I released another karmic cycle I released those karmic cycles that were happening in my relationships and I think that they were happening specifically in my relationships because I don't have a lot of relationships in my life I have a couple of friends and I share things with them but I don't share the deepest parts of myself with them and I'm an eighth house dominant person so a lot of my changes happen underneath they happen undercover they happen below and those things usually happen for me in relationships so I knew I was like, fuck me up. I did it again. I fucking did it again. And guess what? I'm not doing it again. 
that karmic cycle is over. I plan whoever I'm with next, I want to be open. I want, I want to be able to share with my partner. I want to be able to grow with my partner. I want to be able to tell my partner how I feel, what I want, what I dream about, what I long for, and feel like I'm safe to do that, or I don't have to change parts of myself to do that, to fit in with their life. Our lives should meld together. We should be going towards something together. I wasn't doing that, and I allowed it to happen because I was being a martyr, and I was thinking that, oh, I need to fix their problems, oh, I need to fix this, and then I got resentful or at some point I felt like okay this isn't working but I didn't get out of it I was being a coward I needed to be brave I needed to speak up I did that finally I hope that if you're in a relationship like this where you feel like you're stuck in it or you're repeating relationships like this you feel like you want to communicate if you feel like the relationship can be salvaged communicate with your partner let them know how you're feeling try and really be vulnerable none of us ever want to be vulnerable it doesn't work if you're not vulnerable okay because when you're vulnerable you're being who you really are to somebody and that's how you can tell if it's meant for you if you never do that you're just never gonna know so I really hope that you're in something like this that you take the time to figure out if you want to stay in it or if you need to leave it what you need to learn from it really learn from it please don't try and repeat them like I did really learn from it grow from it and then the next time you enter in a relationship, try and be open, be honest, share your true self because the only way you're going to know if a relationship is meant for you is if you're being who you are. If you're being some kind of projection or some other person you think that they want you to be, it's not going to work out. And that was something else I also learned, was being who I really was, all of myself, not anything hidden away. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you took something away from it. Please share this with people that you feel need to hear it because a lot of people are stuck in this and I know that we all have friends we see do this and we're like dying for them to like think about it and see it for themselves. Maybe it'll spark a change in them showing that you saw something that made you think of them. That shows care, that shows thought about somebody else, that means something to somebody somewhere. I hope you have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. I hope you break those karmic cycles and whatever relationships you have in your life, whatever scenarios, you take some time to analyze them and observe them. I'm going to go. I'll see you guys next time. Peace and love.